Money Monday, presented by Oklahoma Central Credit Union. It is Money Monday, a segment here at 4 o'clock where we talk about easy to understand ways to navigate our finances. We do it with our good friend and financial expert, Paul Hood from Hood CPAs. Paul, good to see you, my friend. You too, buddy. We have some great questions today. I want to start with Fred. Fred writes in asking, are there better ways to save money than through a savings account? Well, uh, so Fred, what you got to realize is there's different kinds of risk uh, in order to address that question. There's opportunity risk, um, there's volatility risk, and and there's also inflation risk. So, you know, most of the time a savings account really is not a good investment vehicle, but you need to build up that that emergency fund, that 30 to 90 days worth of income just in case something happens happens, or you can get to the money quick. But you're really actually going to lose money money on that because most savings accounts pay less than what inflation does. So uh, you need to separate investments versus the little short-term savings. The rest of your investments, yeah, you have a nice diversified portfolio. Buy in every single month like in your 401k or on the side, and that, that's going to build you a whole lot better investment portfolio. Paul, is there a point once you have that emergency fund that you should stop putting money in your savings account? So, yeah, like I said, Brian, there, if you, uh, it's great, it's a warm, fuzzy feeling to be able to open up that bank statement and see what you've got there. But you're actually, if you've got too much in there, you're actually losing money because of inflation risk. Inflation means the government just continually prints money, which devalues our currency. And and then the so that the amount of money that you can make someplace else or what inflation that the cost of living goes up quicker than what you're making in the savings account. So yeah, I, I'd say a good, some people may go six months, but three months is, is a pretty aggressive number. All right, Rachel wants to talk credit. She says, uh, how many credit cards should I have? Uh, is too many now, Brian, a problem? You know, the, what I would say to that is, is none or as many as you need. It depends on what you use them for. If you use a credit card to live above your lifestyle, you shouldn't have a credit card. Um, and, but, you know, in, in reality, most people should have one for emergency purposes or when you travel, you can't rent a car without one, those kind of things. So the main thing is keep it, use it to, like it's supposed to and pay it off every month. If you've got a business, have a separate one for the business. If, like I have one for my business, I have one for my rants, I have one personal, and I pay them off every single month. And we come full circle here with Brian's question. Brian writes in asking you, what is the best way to budget and save for that emergency fund? So a budget is telling your money where to go. And so the power of the budget is you prioritize where your money is going. So the first thing is start with the last 12 months with a bank statements, credit card statement, see where your money is going, prioritize where you want it to go and start small. The very first item, in my opinion, should be giving tithing. Second item should be savings and then fit um, the rest of your monthly income, fit your budget to match it versus your priority. All right, great stuff today as always, Paul. Thank you so much. And if you're watching right now, you have a financial question you want us to talk about next Monday, you can send your question in right now. It's as simple as an email. Just send it to moneymonday at griffin.news.